Holy Gospel according to John. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen. But so that the scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. In the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, the synagogue officials ask Paul to speak a word of exhortation for the people. He tells them the history of Israel and the revelation of Jesus as the Messiah. In a similar manner, Jesus speaks to the disciples at the Last Supper, clearly stating that he is, I am, the God of Israel present in the flesh. If you understand this, Jesus tells them, blessed are you if you do it. By washing the disciples' feet, the humility of God made man demonstrates sacrificial love and service to them and to all of humanity. To become like you, Lord, is impossible without your grace. God, help me understand the significance of Jesus washing the feet of his disciples. You sent your Son, who is one with you. In receiving the one sent, I receive you as my Father in heaven. Peter objected to Jesus washing his feet, but Jesus said to him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Grant me the grace, God, to receive your loving kindness fully in this life, so that I can in turn bring your love to others and one day, as your adopted son, come into your glory. From the Gospel Acclamation, Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead. You have loved us and freed us from our sins by your blood. Be with me today, Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.